Every time that a Chinook safely goes to Zorak and resupplies those soldiers and gets out of there or transports a soldier across the battlefield safely with us supporting them is one time that may, they may not have gotten shot at. Uh, Apache pilots, you know, you are, you are trained to be a gun pilot, so you're trained to go out and engage the enemy. That's your, your primary job, protect the ground guy and engage the enemy. For an attack pilot, you know, the most rewarding thing is being able to get after the enemy and affecting the battlefield with fires. I think the, the highlight of every attack pilot's career is engaging targets. The best part about being uh, a pilot is when you know you do go fly a mission and you get that opportunity to check in with a platoon leader or a company commander that's conducting an operation. Yeah, we're tracking everything. We got it. Six, nine, five. Ten, nine, five. Do you see the sparkle? You know, the enemy is much less willing to, uh, to engage us. Or we've always worked in really small groups. Having those Apaches there is, is crucial for us to be able to even do our jobs because, you know, when it, when it comes down, push comes to shove, you know, they're going to win that fight every time. Bad news in the window. Bad news in the window. Get up there. Get up. Hey, we got one down. Damn it. Just take those out. I'll break 7-2 on my block. When the unfortunate event that they're in contact with the enemy, uh, you provide them that immediate coverage uh, and support that they need to get themselves out of that situation. Outbreak, high five. Got tracers up. Roger that. Outbreak, not, or, not, outbreak 7 2. If you guys pull back from the building, wait for the 30 mic mic into it. Roger, copy. 6 9 five. We got one man close. Any armor on the ground, it's my five. I got him in sight. I believe that's our friendly that's down. Yeah, friendly down. Man, five, this is seven! Sir, don't get the building. Stay cool, in to that building. We can put 30 my light into that, uh, where they're shooting out from. Nine or five, can we get that building lit up by the, uh, gunship, over? Alright, you're clear fire. Roger, clear fire. There you go, hit it again. Hey, we need some people down here to help! He's fired. Hey, wounded, He's fired. It takes, you know, uh, some patience and time, but in a, an attack helicopter pilot, you want to get after shooting the enemy. When we go out there to hear those guys' voice, you know, pleased for the 10 minutes that we can give them, it is rewarding to me. It's rewarding to our guys that fly. Uh, we're, we actually get very disappointed when we know that we can only give them a little bit of time. Shoot outbound, left turn outbound. Can you use any uh, movement on people that are such you over? Roger that. Seven, nine, five, five, copy. No hesitation, not a, a, a lost moment of sleep over any of that. Because, like, they shot at us, man. They shot at our brothers on the ground. And when that happens, it's game over, you know? It's judge and jury. You had your chance, you played your cards, and now you're gone. Um, but those are the kind of days where it reminds you uh, what is important and why you do what you do. It's very easy to get caught up in the routine or the, oh, I gotta go to work again. Um, 
But days like that remind you that what you do is a little bit different than what other people do. What we do, we do for the guys on the ground. And nothing is more satisfying than, than you know checking out with them and they'll say, hey, thanks, we appreciate you being here. Even if it was only for a few minutes, we're just kind of able to provide them you know, 15, 20 minutes of support en route to somewhere else. They're always appreciative. I love uh, supporting uh, guys, the guys on the ground doing their job. The most important thing is the ground guy. I mean, every every time we fly the aircraft, whether we're just you know flying from point A to point B to escort a Chinook, if the bad guys see us out there, you know they might think twice about playing an IED or about engaging the uh, convoys. Every time we make a decision here, no matter what decision we make. I think all of us feel that the most important thing we do is support the ground guy. From what they say on the ICOM chatter, is there wait for us to turn around that spur right there before they initiate the ambush? Over. Roger that. And we are inbound. All right, clear fire. Okay. And fire. You played your cards and now you're gone.